Welcome to the mosque of Istanbul. Full disclosure, if you haven't realized already, this mosque isn't in Istanbul, not even close. It's actually super far away, in an area near Johannesburg in South Africa. The mosque that you're confusing this with and this mosque do, however, share the same purpose. They were both constructed as a place of prayer. And Muslims pray five times every day as a means of maintaining their direct connection with God. But it is also really, really Turkish. And that is because it was constructed by a Turkish man on the blueprint of another Turkish mosque. Let me show it to you. That is almost identical in every way. Well done, sir. was constructed. It was also constructed with a clinic and a boarding school and a shopping place. So we see like how the Turkish community have burned their own little center here in South Africa. We actually walked around quite a bit of the shopping place but let's keep over that. It's sweet. care about the food now. Stick beef cubes and a portion of rice. I also bring some Turkish bread, tzatziki, airs man. Can I get one Turkish tea also? It's complimentary, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. What's that called? What's that? Turkish bread. It's world famous for its name. Do you, do you know what that name, name is? Turkish bread. A bread at the Turkey. We sat here at the Ottoman Palace, which we chose for our supper, which was pretty nice. I don't know a lot about food. Sometimes I eat fish and I think it's chicken, and sometimes I eat chicken and I think it's fish. <laughs> so don't trust my review on this. People with cool fiery stuff that we saw on their plates. I don't know why they didn't give us fiery stuff because maybe they're racist. It's like it's but they're also thing. Indian, so I don't think they're racist to us only because, yeah, you can't be racist between Indians. We Pakistani. Yeah, we Pakistani. Turkish culture and architecture seem pretty cool. Even in small quantities in another country. See you in another video. Now you're just kind of watching me eat this possibly stale piece of garlic bread when you could have 
been watching one of my other videos. That's pretty lame of you. You should definitely watch one of my other videos. I don't know why you're still watching me eating this possibly lame piece of garlic bread. Also, I'm talking while I'm eating. My mom is going to shout me when she sees this. Eye contact while eating garlic bread. Now you're uncomfortable. You should have already started watching another video before this happened. Now you regret it. Okay, bye-bye. I'm going.